victory, so fight, 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 fight! There are a lot of groups that have six members. There was the Almond Brothers Band, a volleyball team, and of course the NWO once it added Sean Waltman. But a core of wide receivers for a football team, not normally one of those things. But following the graduation of Kevon Maybon, the school's all-time leading receiver, and then the injury to Corey Lacanaria that's kept him out of spring ball, he'll be back in the fall, the Cardinals are left with just six wide receivers here in spring practice. What that's meant, though, is a lot of extra reps for the guys and a lot more individualized attention as they look for new leaders to step up heading to the 2017 season. Yeah, I think it, it, it humbles us, you know, because we don't really have a star. You know, it's going to take a group effort out of us. We're light, man, so we got to, it's a lot of us got to carry the load, a lot of reps. So we got no multiple posi positions to expect that out of us. And, uh, you know, I think it's good for us, though. That just creates so much more opportunity for everyone. Um, just every practice, every drill, every, every kind of simulation, there's more reps for everyone to go around, and, and that's going to get everyone better, as well as it's going to make everyone compete. And, and just the competition alone will make each of us better, and I think that's going to carry into fall. Two guys in particular the Cardinals will be looking for breakout seasons from, Jordan Hogue and Devin Reese, both fourth-year players in this program and both looking to take that next step from guys with high expectations to guys that produce big time on the field. They're working hard towards it. Um, you know, they're there. Uh, they have a ton of experience, uh, you know, not necessarily out there on the field, uh, you know, but uh, they've been in the program for a really long time and they know the expectations. So. Um, it's good to see them out there being more vocal. Uh, it's good to see them out there making plays, and uh, I feel like they're, they're headed on the right track. Got a lot of work to do, but they're doing a good job with it. I mean, we both came in together and stuff like that, but, you know, he, he happened to play before me. You know, he didn't get red shirt and stuff, so I've been just trying to really play to my potential and use my body and stuff like that every single day. You know, um, the coaches are on me about I'm 215, play like it and stuff like that, so I just want to keep working. And, show you guys not say it. Obviously we won't have the incoming freshmen, those guys are going to come in. Um, we have to have guys in the room that can show them the ropes, show them how to do things the right way, show them how to work every single day they're out here on the field. Um, I think with the fact that, you know, Jordan moved on and graduated, he's doing great things like in Kevon as well, um, it kind of, you know, they can't look around. They look around, it's just them, you know what I mean? I think they embrace that this spring. It's good to see them out there. Certainly a lot of opportunity for the Cardinals wide receivers. Jordan Hogue, the leading receiver in camp right now, in spring practice right now, from a fall ago. He had 20 catches in the 2016 season. Who's going to step up for ball? State in 2017. Well, we barrel toward the spring game as spring practices continue. That is April 15th at noon, free and open to the public. Until then, we carry on here at Schumann Stadium. I'm Joel Godet for Ball State All Access and BallStateSports.com.